Salut les apprenants, j'espère que vous tous allez bien. Je m'appelle Moksha et vous êtes à Language Fluent. Healing with hope you're doing well. My name is Moksha and you're watching Language Fluent. In this institute, we teach foreign languages for job or migration purpose. For that, we have a two-year job-oriented courses at Language Fluent. For more information, please look the description box below, where you can contact us or you can simply download the application link below. So, aujourd'hui, on va apprendre les adjectifs démonstratifs en français. So today, we will be learning about demonstrative adjectives in French. Now, we all know that adjectives are the words that replace noun, and demonstrative adjectives replaces a specific or a particular noun. Say, for example. I have a pen, so I'll say, I have this pen, I have this pen. So here, this is a demonstrative adjective. Say for example, I have a pen which is little bit far from me. So I'll say, I want that pen, I want that pen. Now here, both are pens, but I'm referring to a specific pen. And this is known as demonstrative adjective. In French, Demonstrative adjectives are known as les adjectives demonstratifs. Les adjectives demonstratifs. Here we have four forms of demonstrative adjectives. On a les quatre forms des adjectives demonstratifs. Les quatre forms des adjectives demonstratifs. We have masculine singular form, feminine singular form, masculine plural form and feminine plural form and we have four demonstratives in French on a les quatre demonstratives en français and they are se, set, set, se se, set, set, se pronunciation of this both is same set, set they are same se, set, set, se Your So, set and set is this, this, and say is these, these. This topic is very simple in French, so please watch this video till the end. Now, let's look at the rules to apply these demonstrative adjectives. As we know, we have four demonstrative adjectives, se, set, set, and say. So, the first one is se, se. C E S -er, which means this in English. So we use S -er when we have a masculine noun and when it begins with a consonant. A masculine noun beginning with a consonant. For example, S -er livre, S -er livre, which means this book, this book. So here, livre is a masculine noun and it starts with a consonant. So we use se c e s second is set set c e t set which means this in english now we use set when we have a masculine noun which begins with a vowel vowel or silent h a masculine noun beginning with a vowel or silent h for example set om set om which means this man, this man. Now, om is a masculine noun and it begins with h. So we have a vowel or h over here and when the noun is a masculine, we use c-e-t, set. The third one is set, c-e-t-t-e, set, which means this in English. We use c-e-t-t-e, set, when we have all feminine nouns so when a noun is a feminine irrespective of it being a consonant or starting with a vowel we use c e t t e so here we have example of set auto set auto which means this car this car so here again auto is a feminine noun but here we add c e t t e because we use C-E-T-T-E -T -T for all feminine nouns. And the last one is C-E-S, which is say, say. And this means these, these in English. This we use for all 
plural nouns. For all plural nouns, we use CES te. For example, te chocola. Te chocola, which means these chocolates. These chocolates. We know that chocola is a masculine noun and it is plural because we have s. So we write CES, irrespective of it being masculine or feminine. For all plural nouns, we add CES. Now, as we know the rules about demonstrative adjectives, let's try to apply that in phrases. So, here the first thing we do is identify the noun. Identify the noun. Secondly, we identify gender. Is it masculine or feminine? And if it's masculine, does that start with vowel or consonant? And third thing is we identify number. Is it singular or plural? So the first one is set shombra e tre patit. Set shombra e tre patit. Which means this room is very small in English. Here noun is shombra. What is the gender? Shombra is a feminine noun. What is the number? Shombra here is a singular noun. So it becomes feminine singular noun. So we write C-E-T-T-E -T -T -E, set over here. The second one is Jem sa shapo e set shamiz. Jem sa shapo e set shamiz. Which means I like this hat and this shirt. Here what are the nouns? We have shapo and shamiz. So here shapo. What is the gender? Shapo is a masculine noun. And what is the number? Shapo over here is singular noun. So it becomes masculine singular noun. And it starts with consonant. So we write CE. So now for shamiz, what is the gender? It is feminine noun. And what is the number? It is singular noun. So it becomes feminine singular noun. So we write C E T T E, set, set shamiz. Third one is set apartmo nepatre grom. Set apartmo nepatre grom, which means this apartment is not very big in English. Here, what is the noun? Apartmo. What is the gender of this noun? This is a masculine singular noun. Gender and number is masculine singular and this starts with vowel. In case of masculine, it starts with vowel. So this becomes C-E-T, set apartmo, C-E-T. Now fourth one is says arbre son vio, says arbre son vio, which means these trees are old, these trees are old in English. Here, what is a noun? Arbre. What is the gender of arbre? It is masculine. And what is a number? It is plural because we have S in the ending. So it's, it becomes masculine plural noun. So we add say, C-E-S, say, say arbre. Then we have Sa Romo e Antereso. Sa Romo e Antereso, which means this novel is interesting in English. Here, what is a noun? Romo. What is a gender? Romo is masculine noun. And what is a number? It is a singular noun. So it becomes masculine singular noun. And it starts with consonant. So we write Sa. Sa Romo. Now the last one is El Porth Set Robe. El Porth Set Robe, which means she wears this dress in English. Here noun is robe. Robe has a gender which is feminine and the number is singular. So it becomes feminine singular noun. So we write set, C-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, set robe. We are done with our today's lecture. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. 
I have given an exercise at the end of this video which you can solve by yourself and you can also write the answers in the comment section. So do hit the bell icon which is there on your YouTube app to never miss on our updates. Also hit like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. We also provide translator and interpreter services at Language Fluent. To register for the full courses at Language Fluent, please refer the description box where you can contact us or you can simply fill the form which is there in the description box. Alor, bon chance, merci beaucoup. Hope to see you guys in next lecture. Abhi anto, thank you.